everyone. Welcome back. I wanted to do this tutorial, but I just came back from work, and I didn't really want to wash my face, because I just, I just put it on. So, I decided to just keep my makeup on, and I will just show you the rest of what I do. The look that I came up for Valentine's Day is super simple. There's really nothing to it, so let's get going. Alright, so I wasn't going to do a talk-through video, but the thing is I need to hear what I'm making and usually if I don't do a talk through I just put on music we're gonna do it this way alright so to start off I'm starting off oh don't mind my nails I didn't have time to fix it before I recorded is the Urban Decay primer potion and you just apply it to your entire lid and under your lid because you will be applying product there too And then I'm going to fill in my lid with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Strawberry Milk. And this is what that looks like. It's really pretty, like, pearly pink. And I'm just going to apply it to the entirety of my lid. And just kind of blend it out a little with your finger. And I'm gonna go back with, to it later, so it doesn't matter if it's not as pigmented as you want. After that, I'm just going to grab the Alme Shadow in 130 Hot Fudge. And this is what that looks like, and it's just a deep brown. And then with the brush, I'm just going to apply it to the crease of my eye. And the reason why I said I'm gonna go back to the pink is because since it is kind of a creamy texture some of the fallout from the brown will will go on to the pink and we want the pink to be vibrant and you're just going to blend it out pretty well now returning to the lighter the pink I'm gonna go and just make sure I get it close to my lashes and fill in anywhere where I feel like I want that distinction between the colors then I'm going to grab an eye smudger brush I'm just gonna blend it in a little And then I'm going to grab the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Yogurt, and as you guys can see, I probably should sharpen it too. And I'm just going to put it in the inner tear duct of my eye like so, blending it out. Then it's time for the eyeliner. I actually went and bought, if I don't have brown liners, I did, but I used it. So I went and bought this one from L'Oreal in Espresso. As you guys can see, I just dipped into it. And it comes with a little brush, so you can use that. You can use an angled brush, whatever you like. I'm just going to use the brush here. And you're going to line your eye. And I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of a wing, just a tiny one. If you guys don't want to, you don't have to. You can just cut it, end it there. And then with whatever is left over on the brush, just go ahead and connect your wing to your bottom lash. This one is the NYX, NYX Eye and Brow Pencil in white. Like that. Also need a sharpness. 
And I'm just gonna line the waterline. And that'll just brighten up your eyes, make you look a little bit more awake. I am going to grab an eyelash curler and very carefully curl my lashes. And I'm gonna use for mascara the NYX Doll Eye Mascara. Alright, and I'm going to apply it to the bottom and top lashes. Right before this step is where I would put the false lashes if you wanted to. I honestly think that unless you go in for something sexy, you don't really need false lashes. Just apply a lot of mascara. or your chapstick. I just don't know where I have mine, so I'm not going to do it. Probably go for the lolly tempo. And once this dries, So, while that's drying, now time for the hair. I know usually I just do makeup, but my sister and my friends kind of do this one hairstyle that I thought was really romantic and completely appropriate for Valentine's Day. So, what you're going to do uh, is you're going to need your hair down and you're going to need a lot of bobby pins that are your hair color. So, we're going to swoop it off to one side. Alright, and then just what you're going to do is towards the back of your head, you're just going to start pinning. So it's to pin them so that they all fall, so that your entire hair falls on one side. Which is why if you have more hair, you're going to need more hair pins. I might not have that. And if you guys don't have textured hair like I do, Curl your hair a little, just so that you have enough to work with. And so, I'm going to turn this through that. This is what it's going to start looking like. Honestly, it's going to start looking like a rat's nest. That's hair pins, so that's okay. And there you go. Just add a little hairspray. So that it doesn't come loose and this is it. It's honestly really cute. And this is it. This is my Valentine's Day look. I hope you guys liked it. Remember to like, subscribe, comment. Also remember to check out my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and my blog. I'll leave you all the links down below in the description box. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye!